Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey, family, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, we're going to be talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta... Episode 5, Season 14, and I'm going to tell you, I watched it, and it was just, oh, they just gave me really 30 good minutes of some good episodes in the scene, well, the scenes in that particular episode, and of course, Drew is still on the hot seat, okay, but we're going to go to page 6, because they recapped it a little bit better than me, and I was like, I want y'all to be entertained, okay, so, uh, the writer of the re cap of real housewives of atlanta um season 14 episode 5 that aired on this past sunday june the 6th i mean june the 5th and it's a caroline blair who pick up the pieces for us on each episode on i mean each section of that particular episode because i tell you i was just glad <laughs> that they tried to get drew to understand but i see it's going to have to take another couple of episodes because sonya was just looked like she just wanted to tear into drew because she wasn't with well, sonya she wasn't getting it and it's like are you just playing to be dumb or you are that dumb pretty much what she was saying but i'm like drew you better straighten up and fly right girl because it might be sonya the one get you off of the real housewives of atlanta because she was your friend now it looks like she your foe and she's coming hard at you honey so you better be coming extra hard or without putting no hands on somebody because i don't think sonya sonya wants you there anymore baby girl but anyway, going into a page six wrote their uh, title was Real Housewives of Atlanta Recap. Kenya Moore causes Drew Sador business as a Ponzi scheme. Okay, we got Kenya Moore slammed Drew Sador's weight loss program as a Ponzi scheme during Sunday's episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sheree Whitfield, Marlo Hampton, and Moore gathered for a casual night in New York City when they began laughing about Sador working out and teaching others how to work out despite getting a mommy makeover herself. That's a fraud, Whitfield, meaning Sheree, 52, told her co-stars while adding in a confessional, bitch, you don't even work out. And she right, she wasn't doing no workout. She wasn't breaking that damn kind of sweat uh, when she had them, well, I think it was just her and Rob were film, filming a scene and he wanted to do something extra uh, special for her. And that's that night that she ruined everything because he was acting stupid she was acting stupid and they just wanted to just just toss it to the wind it was just a no-go but anyway going back to the article it says um the ladies attempted to get into the doors drop it with drew website but after a few clicks it appeared the website crashed is it like a ponzi scheme more 51 asked i'm just trying to figure out what it is okay when Sidora 37 joined the ladies, Hampton 46 told her that the website doesn't work. Sidora claimed that the website must have crashed, to which Hampton sarcastically responded, Ooh, so many people. <laughs> I mean, like she would be out, say, uh, putting something uh, as an outerwear out, and people just had to have it. That kind of crash. Uh, the internet couldn't hold all of those people going to that one site. But anyway. Uh, that was just an example I was giving you all. Uh, back to the article, it says, I had a lot of health struggles, a lot of diagnoses. Yes, I did have a mummy makeover, but it was because I had so many things going on. Sidora told the ladies as to why she had a tummy tuck and a breast reduction and lift surgeries. So drop it with Drew is just to maintain surgery. Hampton clapped back. Sidora denied that claim and went on to extensively explain her program, but it left many of the women more confused than ever. And it sure left Candy confused because she sure was shading the shit out of uh, 
through the door in her confessionals. She was like, girl, she was saying everything coming, you know, something was coming out of her mouth. But it was like, wah, 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 wah. And she couldn't get a hold of her thoughts to even try to understand what Drew was talking about. Because she was just everywhere and nowhere at the same damn time. Uh, but given, going back to the article, it says, it's giving Ponzi scheme more said in her confessional. Girl, you know that ain't nothing but a Facebook group. Stop it, Hampton added in hers. And that was funny as hell. <laughs> Woo, child. When Whitfield, Samuel Richards Ross, and Candy Burris also remarked their confusion over the program in their confessionals. I think what's happening is everybody is wondering if this is some legit stuff. Burris continued asking her. And see, Candy coming at her like she used to come at Shamil with that drinking situation. Now, I don't like that, Candy. I don't, I, don't, I don't like that. If you're going to come out, come out like Sanya come out. Come out like Marlo come out. Come out like Kenya come out. Just straight to the point. And, you know, you're asking the question directly for to get a direct question back. But, can you be too mad. You mess it, girl. You mess it. with them draws and them panties. And uh, any man can light up somebody's panties up in there. That, that's just piss poor, Candy. You, I think you are a little bit too free. You might need to seek counseling for that shit. But, anyway, going back to the article. It said, um, Sidora then offered to show the ladies how much money she's made from the program. But she couldn't answer how much it costs to sign up for it. <laughs> They had pushed. They had pushed Drew Sidora in a corner, and she was just still getting beat up in the corner. It wasn't like she was just fighting her way out of the corner and, and then handling some folk. Nah, honey, they had Drew so up. They done tied her up like a uh, what do you call it? <laughs> a, a bacon pig. <laughs> they had hog tied that girl, honey. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Hampton. And Burris encouraged the door to keep it 100 with them. But Whitfield's FaceTime with boyfriend Tyrone Gilliams distracted the ladies from Sidora attempting to further prove her business is legit. The Real Housewives of Atlanta airs on Sundays at 8 p.m. Okay, guys, that was pretty much it because we had Marlo drive. They were getting kind of late for the show. They were getting, The uh, traffic was bagged up and it's like they were seven minutes out. Uh to getting to the show before it actually started so the driver said y'all want to get out now and, and work your way up there because if y'all still riding this traffic y'all gonna be late so they all decided to uh walk the rest of the way or run the rest of the way depending on the, what attire they was they had on because it seemed like it was kind of cold and marlo said uh-uh honey i'm finna get me a bike so Evidently, they had these little bikes just sitting on the sidewalk area and uh, Marlo had, you know, skimmed the place for where she could pay for a bike. <laughs> now, they can pick it up later on, but she drove a bicycle. And I said, okay, 46, 47 year old showing us how you are still active and you still up in there. Yeah, that 46 year old Marlo Hampton was riding that shit. Okay, and she was dropping it like it's hot in the next video or the next uh, the next special they bring on, uh, which is season uh, 14, episode 6. She was dropping it like, ooh, I ain't know you were that limbo, girl. You go ahead, honey. So they might tease, well, can them pretty much. What can you do sometimes? Tease her about dating old white men, but that girl still can bounce it. She can drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. She probably knows it's better than all of them, tell you the truth. But <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, but that's all I have for this particular video. Guys, like it, love it, gotta have more. Come and stop at the house, okay? When you want your laughter on, when you just want some good news, some get good tea, come on to the house. We waiting for you. We leave the light on, honey. We leave the light on. All right, but I'll see y'all next video. And make sure you subscribe, share, and like my videos. It helps me out. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.